uh, firstly, the issue of the academic freedom. I think all of us have agreed that uh, you need academic freedom as enshrined in the Constitution. And that freedom is important for <clears throat> education. We have also said there must be an autonomy of the institutions of higher learning so that they can do their work without <clears throat> much interference. What we are saying, because that matter has been raised by the students very strongly, is one of the matters they've raised very strongly. We have said <clears throat> autonomy will be looked at by the commission is one of the matters that will be looked at. And I'm sure there will be a very specific recommendation on that matter that we'll have to look at when the commission reports. If you asked me politically, my own view, <clears throat> there is no autonomy that could be absolute. It's relative. And everything is relative. And that is what must be found within balancing. Because it must be balanced. You can't have an autonomy that is absolute, it's not relative. That's a political point, very important political point. And we are saying, therefore, how do you balance these two? <clears throat> well, they need to be balanced. <clears throat> that, again, without saying, giving instructions to the commission, we will hear when they do their work and when they report, what are they saying on those matters. With regard, with regard to <clears throat> the matter of free university education, I'm sure you will uh, recall, <clears throat> honorable member, that the matter of free education is a policy of the ruling part. That's our policy. <clears throat> established decades ago. And we have tried to begin to implement it. That is why, at the lower levels, there are schools that are free from fees as part of the implementation of that policy. What we have not done is to say today from today the education is free. But we have said that is our goal. We have started the implementation. Poor students or young people from poor families are no longer paying school up to matric. That's part of the implementation of the policy. <clears throat> With regard to the institutions of higher learning, that's a matter we've been looking at. And the department has been looking at it actually, put up a commission or a grouping to <clears throat> deal with the matter, investigate it, come up. There is even a report that has been written on that issue to say, how do we implement this? That report, for an example, will be taken into consideration by the commission so that it will come up. What I am happy about is that for the first time in the country, everybody agreed with the ANC policy that there must be free education. <laughs> Wonderful.